What's up guys, Baker here. Today I have a tutorial. I'm going to call this Text in Fire Compositing. And it's basically this example right here. <clears throat> I did this and holy crap. Okay. Um, or basically this 3D text, and it doesn't have to be text. It could be uh, anything you want. But it's um, composited like it's inside the fire, and it's being obscured by the smoke. And it just blends really nicely in the technique I used. I liked it a lot, so I'm going to share it with you. Um, there's going to be two <clears throat> scenarios. So you're either going to have a light background with the smoke being dark or fire being dark. The other example is the background is dark and then the fire is going to be light. And that will obscure the text. So <clears throat> let's start with the to uh, tutorial over here. Got some 3D text just placed where I think the smoke would be. And um, yeah, let's get started. So, I want the text to only show up in the light parts and not the dark part of this clip. So, I'm going to duplicate my clip, rename this to Matt, place it abo above Elements, and the track mat for Elements, if I want it to show up in the light parts, I'm going to use Luma Mat. And right away, it does look a lot. <clears throat> a lot better it is obscured by the smoke but a um, couple things I want to uh, fix and you can uh, adjust this at any time go to the mat and apply let me just let this load real quick we're gonna apply some levels so we can adjust how see-through the text is through the smoke and everything so if I um, brighten this up by decreasing input white I can brighten up or make the outside, if you look at the T over here, more filled in. And then if I increase the input black, I make the smoke darker, which means the text will disappear more. So it's up to, up to you what kind of style you want, if you want it completely gone or kind of a little bit smoother like that. Um, what I would also do is add a, a quick fast blur to uh, smooth out the mat a little bit, maybe five pixels smooth up the edge right here but it looks you know like it's actually in the fire now this next part is optional but I'm gonna use a little bit of displacement map to um, kinda warp the text because when uh, heat rises and stuff <coughs> you know I did a tutorial on this last time where it warps text and stuff but anyways here's what we're gonna do we're gonna duplicate the mat and go to layer Precompose, move all the attributes, and we're going to call this Displacement Map 1. <clears throat> and uh, let's go into Displacement Map 1, and it's just our normal clip with the levels and the blur on it. Now, um, if we're going to warp the text, we want the uh, outside part to not be warped or affected, which means this light part, the white, needs to be gray. So we're going to change the output white down until we get like an even gray, probably right in the middle. That looks good. And you can adjust the input black to adjust how you want that. But I'm going to leave it like that. Just make sure the output white is perfectly gray. We're going to go back. And um, on the element layer, search up displacement map choose your displacement map layer and um, change these both to luminance and if I adjust the vertical you can see pretty close only the text inside the smoke is getting affected so that's pretty cool I'm gonna make it negative 21 so a little bit higher and to the side and that looks good so if we scrub through we get a little bit of warping in the text looks very nice and realistic compositing is very uh, very cool so adjust that how you want and um, that is pretty much it right there I'm gonna quickly go over the other example right here just got some fire in the background and uh, text I'm gonna go through this example a little bit faster but just stick with me again we duplicate our clip we can rename this to Matt put it above the element now <clears throat> I want the element to show up uh, in the dark parts of the clip instead of the light. So I'm going to use Luma Inverted. So we can see our clip is being obscured by the fire. Now the fire isn't as bright as the normal fire around it. 
So on that mat layer, again, add some levels to adjust the mat, and we're just going to brighten this up. And that's pretty much it for that. And again, if you're going to use the uh, displacement map, duplicate your mat, layer, precompose, move all, displacement map 2. And let's go in here. Now remember, what we don't want to be affected needs to be gray. And um, I can't use levels because this is just alpha channel. So what we can do is just make a solid uh, gray background. And that's pretty much it. So go back to your uh, composition, element layer, displacement map, apply, choose your displacement map layer, and luminance again. And we can adjust the vertical and stuff. And again, anything inside the text is being affected. Now, um, as you increase the displacement map, you get some really weird uh, kind of... Uh, sharp crispiness stuff so just go back into your displacement map here and just add a little fast blur that'll smooth the uh, displacement map a little bit so maybe five to ten pixels so if we go back a lot more smooth and stuff so probably don't want to do it as much 160 is a little high so maybe you know 30 50 at the highest but it's a nice warping nice um, obscureness in front and, and behind and stuff. I don't know. I think this example was pretty nifty and um, hidden in the smoke. So if you enjoyed, <clears throat> be sure to like and favorite the video. Comment if you have any questions. Hit me up on Facebook or Twitter. I'll have a link in the description if you want to submit ideas for tutorials. If, uh, if I pick you, I will put your name or your channel name in the description if you win and um, that's that's pretty much it so if you do any in the examples video post a video response all that good stuff and I hope you enjoyed alright peace